Today we are in Kingsport, Tennessee, and directly behind us is an iconic building down here. That is the original Powell's Sudden Service. That building was built in 1956. Now you guys might be wondering what a Powell's is. So you guys all have Burger King and McDonald's, but here in Eastern Tennessee and Western Virginia, this place is the king. Now the other location John and I usually go to, the building is, is shaped different. It has a big hamburger and hot dog on the outside. It's really cool, but it's a drive through only, so we always have to eat in the car. This one we can go in and order, and there's a nice set of picnic tables that we're going to sit at. This is one of only two, and both of them are located here in Kingsport, that do not have a drive through So let's head in there and get something to eat. So are you ready, Bobby? Ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Quick look at the menu, starting off with breakfast. They have several biscuits, orange juice, milk, and coffee. Here's a look at the burgers. If you want to add bacon to any burger, it's $1.99. They're famous for the Big Pal. They also have a junior burger, a sauce burger, a chili burger that comes in two different sizes. We're going to get the small one in that. Next, we have a hot dog, but look at the second one, a chili bun with no hot dog on it. Extra chili, mustard, and onions, $2.39. Have a few choices of sandwiches, chipped ham, big chicken, and toasted cheese. And the last page, Frenchy Fries. And the reason they're called that, that's what the owner calls them. They have some beverages. They're famous for their sweet tea, and they serve Coke products, and they have some milkshakes. Now, for the next couple of minutes, we're going to let Pal Barger tell you the history all about this place because he can do a better job than what I can. Two large head around. In this drive through line, the promise is service that's so fast, it's sudden. All right, have a great day. That's where we came up with a sudden service. Can't get any faster than sudden. But the story of how Pal Barger built a fast food empire is all about slow and steady. I'm not going in with him. <laughs> Lessons learned, he came home to Kingsport and opened Pals in 1956. It was successful from the very start. And from the start, Pal kept it simple. If you don't have the best food and the best taste and everything, people are not coming back. Also simple, the menus. Don't try to be everything to everyone, Pal says. But in a very visible way, Pal ditched simple and embraced outlandish. What is the story behind the Pal's look? And I told him what I think I'd like to do a fast food place. Him being Pal's friend, artist Tony Baroni. He just took a napkin, put it out there, and drew it upside down so I could see it. And that's where the Pal's were designed. And did you love it right away? Yeah, he, yeah we pushed that aside and he said, now, here's another idea. I said, don't want to see anything else. That's it. That's what we're going to do. Why didn't you go the Ray Kroc route and just take this thing to Beijing and beyond? Why did you make the decision to get so big and not get any bigger? Well, I don't know. I don't know why we, but I'm pretty happy. How much is enough? We just do it ourselves and kind of stay small and we, we live a good life. All right, Bobby's gonna unpack our stuff. Let's see what we got here. We're gonna start off first with the chili dog. Bobby's gonna try that. Mustard, onions, and chili. All right, so if you're wondering where the onions are, we watched a video and they put theirs on the side. I should have asked for double onions though. Now I like that these are smaller hot dogs. The chili sauce is excellent, but I should have asked for double onions. That's the only thing wrong with this hot dogs. Very good. Large sweet tea, $1.19. 
They're famous for it. It's very good sweet tea, but it's not as sweet as Popeye's, John. It's not. Mm -mm. The Barbie dog. Limited time, I guess. It's on the sign. I don't know if they carry this year round. I don't think they do. This is pork barbecue. Put coleslaw on it for extra 60 cents on a hot dog bun. Let's go. That's a pretty good barbecue on a hot dog bun sandwich for a fast food restaurant. Got the little crunch from the coleslaw. You can see the shredded barbecue on there. It's not uh, the best barbecue I've ever had, but it's a fast food restaurant. It's not going to be. We go to Memphis all the time, so just can't compare it against that. But it is very good, and it's worth like three dollars. Is all that was, three sixty nine with the slaw. Give that extra crunch. I would add the slaw to it. Now, as I took another bite of it, it, got a lot more barbecue flavor into the center. Happy with it, but I was happy with it after the first bite. So I got the chili burger. This is a small. You could get it in a large, but I, with the hot dog, I didn't need it. Three nineteen. Added cheese. There's some more of that chili sauce. Some onions. There's a the hamburger. No, this is good, but I think that chili should just stay on a hot dog. I'd rather have a basic hamburger with onions, lettuce, pickles, and tomatoes. But it is very good. All right, guys, the big pow. Let's take a look at it. Shredded lettuce, plenty of mayonnaise, toasted bun. There's your tomatoes. Got two of them on there. Onions and the patty. One third pound patty. Let's take a look. There we go. Side angle of it. Let's just go in and get it all. Now that's a very good hamburger. Nice and juicy. You can really taste the onion on that. Tomatoes fresh, the lettuce, plenty of mayonnaise, toasted bun. $4.59. Worth it. I'm gonna try Bobby's chili burger to see which one I like the best. I like what this looks like with that chili on there because I love chili dogs. Let's just go in. Now I do like this. It's got a nice flavor to it, but that cheese, I can only taste that cheese on there with that chili, but I'm gonna go with the big pow over that. There's the difference. There's the small burger and there's the large one. So you could get this one in the same size patty, one third pound. Not sure what size this is. All right, we'll get a couple fries. So they gave us plenty of Frenchy fries. <laughs> Put a lot of salt on them. Now, I like a lot of salt on mine, so I don't know if you if you're trying to watch the salt intake that you could ask them not to put so much on, I'm not sure, but they do have a lot on them. They're nice and hot, a little crisp. I like them. I'm gonna try them real quick too. I like that seasoning on there. That is very salty. That's what I like about them. Great fries, guys. Well, Bobby said she would like this one probably better than the chili burger. We're gonna find out. i gonna make sure I'm on it right here where the onion is, John. <laughs> I would definitely pick the Big Pal. I like all the toppings they have on it. I'm not sure what, if that's mayonnaise or Miracle Whip. You said you thought it was Duke's. Well, I'm not a fan of Duke's, but I'm going with the Big Pal. One reason I said that is because this is the South and Duke's is big in the South. I can't tell either, but it's very good. All right, I will try this chili dog. Being from West Virginia, they have some amazing chili dogs up that area. I do like this chili dog. The chili is better on here than what it is, I think, on the hamburger. You know, it's the same stuff. It goes better with a hot dog, I guess. Worth getting. So out of everything we tried today, my favorite still is the Big Pal. I'm getting ready to try this stuff called Dr. Enough. This was invented in 1949 and it's known as the original energy booster. It contains B vitamins, cane sugar, and caffeine made by Tri-City Beverage in Johnson City. And they also had another one back then. They had another drink called Mountain Dew at the same time they had this. They sold Mountain Dew to Pepsi. We all know how that worked for them. So let's try it. So what this is, this is a lemon soda like Sprite or 7-Up, but I can tell a little difference in it. Let's just take a look. Probably just clear, just like the other drinks. I do like it. Their slogan is, enough is enough. Years ago, it was supposed to help with stomach pains and hangovers. 
So if you're sick, I guess come in here and get some of this. And I think Pals is the only place that you can get this as a fountain drink. Now I tried your drink, it's pretty good. It's similar to Sprite and it probably would help you with if you had stomach problems or wasn't feeling well. But I used to drink Mountain Dew like crazy. They made a big mistake by selling it to Pepsi. But it probably did, because look where Mountain Dew did, it went through the roof. Mm -hmm. Now another nice thing I noticed, there's lights outside here. So if you're out here at nighttime eating, you can see, and also you have restrooms. Guys, we had to come back on for just one second because Bobby has something to tell you. They use Duke's mayonnaise. And why is that a big deal? <laughs> because when we bought it at home and we used it, I said I didn't like Duke's. Yeah, because I asked Bobby, because I like Duke's. I said, what do you think of that? She's like, that's terrible. I'm going to stick with Hellman's. So we were eating these. She's like, boy, that is some good mayonnaise on there. So now we can start buying Duke's at home all the time. Right, Bobby? I think it was the Powell's hamburger that made it good. All right. So <laughs> no buying Duke's at home? All right guys, let's take a look at our receipt here at Pals in Kingsport, Tennessee. The Big Pal, 459. Small chili burger, 319. The Barbie dog, 309 with slaw, extra 60 cents. Hot dog, 259. A Frenchie fry, 269. Sweet tea, 119. And a doctor enough, $1.99. Grand total, 21.82. I like how they painted this on the wall right next to Pals, but there is the guy that started Pals, Ray Pal Barger. Hot dogs are serious business. He did a good thing with this company, could have made it larger, but he decided to stay small and local. Sadly, he passed away in 2020. Here's who painted this, 2011. Great job, Ellen. Let's just walk down through here and see what's all on this. A little trip down memory lane. their original menu from 1956. John, how would you like to get a double hamburger for 29 cents? I love that. How about a milkshake though yeah. for 19 cents, guys? But look at the drinks, 10 cents. What do we pay now, almost $3? Yep. Did a good job painting all this stuff. In a flash, that's about how quick it is when you go through the drive-through, guys, at the other restaurants. Look at that, Bobby. Hamburgers, two for 19 cents on that. Now there is the concept drawing of what most of the pals look like. And this is what the one looks like that we always visit. We're gonna to try to find this restaurant. Hot dog and the hamburger and the drinks all on top of the building. Pretty and that, cool. And that's what made us stop at pals for the first time, wasn't it, when we were going yes. to the Bristol racetrack. We saw that and we we're like, we gotta go through that building so it does attract attention. It's kinda like McDonald's with its golden arches. Yep. Delighting customers is our number one goal. You know you're from Kingsport if you stop at Pals before you go home on your break from college. Pals tea runs in your bloodstream and you think the rest of the world knows what a Pals hot dog is. There's the tea. Bobby had. What'd you think of it, Bobby? I liked it. It's not as sweet as some teas, but it's pretty good. Now in 2001, they won a National Quality Award. I like what that sign says. Support our troops. And their strategy has been to keep the operation simple so it's teachable. We saw a video on this place on YouTube so they went through like, what, 120 hours of training or something to work here? And the last one, there's the owner again. Hot dogs are still serious business, but we're having a lot of fun. Now here is what a pals looks like today at most of their shops. Is that not iconic with the hamburger, hot dog, the fries, and a cold drink? This is what grabs your attention when you see one of these. Great marketing strategy. And look at this. It's sitting right next to a Sonic. I'd like to know which one is busier. 
Well guys, we lost the original ending to this video. We have the part at the end that you'll see in a minute where we come back on, but we don't have our ending, so we have to do it here at the house. What did you think about your trip to Pals, Bobby? Now I got a hot dog and hamburger with the chili sauce on it. Not so much of a fan of it being on the hamburger. And I like this location because it had the outside seating. You could go in and order your food and plenty of picnic tables. Now for my meal, I had the new Barbie dog, which is not new now because this video is a month old. I did enjoy that. That was a different way to eat pork barbecue on a hot dog bun. Everything about this place I enjoy. When we're down this way, we always try to swing in to Pals and get something. That iconic building draws you in. So I wish they had more of these around. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J and B, B have left. <laughs>